guys, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, lift kit versus leveling kit, and the reason why I personally decided to go with a leveling kit. I think for my, for the reason that I wanted to, that I needed, for the things that I needed for the truck, leveling kit was the way to go for me. But it depends on what you're looking for. In this video, I'm going to share a little bit about that and also some updates on uh, what's going to happen here on the channel. And we have a couple of trips coming up, long trips, which I'm really excited about. Really excited to uh, get out of uh, Florida and uh, see some new places. Let me put the windows back up so you can actually hear what I'm, what I'm saying here. Here we go. Put the AC on as well. It's only, only 91 degrees today, so not that bad I guess so as you know I have a uh, ready lift leveling kit on my Ram Rebel right here and the Rebel as you know also I'm sure is lifted from factory I think it's lifted about an inch uh, in the in both front and rear but it still has that you know weird rake feel to it weird rake from the back to the front so you can see that it's kind of leaning forward and I really didn't like that when I got the truck so I really wanted to fix that as soon as possible the easiest way to fix it, the, the very, very easiest way to fix that specific rake is to, and the cheapest way, is to buy those, um, I think they're called Motofab or something like that. They're like, they look like pucks, hockey pucks, that you, uh, I think you install them on top of the strut mount or something, uh, which works, you get, you get the truck leveled, but I was considering those and I was doing my research and the reason why I didn't go with those and why I went with the full ready lift uh, kit is because I've heard I heard a lot of uh, complaints after a couple of thousand miles that you hear squeaking from the front end and it's also damaging to the control arms and the bushings or something uh, not I can't remember the details but over in general it wasn't just it wasn't a, a good solution for what I wanted to, to, to have my truck be. It's a long-term uh, leveling kit here. I'm not just gonna put them on and take them off after a couple of miles. This is for prep, basically the lifetime of the truck. So I really wanted to dig deep and see the best leveling kit that I could find out there. To me, based on the reviews and based on my needs, the Ready Lift leveling kit was the one that really um, uh, stood out to me and that comes with you know all the control arms and you get uh, It's not just one thing that you put on top of the strut mount to kind of raise up the front end It's actually you need to replace the control arms and that doesn't damage the bushings because this kit was actually designed with these bushings in mind you get those are new as well on the red lift uh, leveling kit so that's the reason why I decided to to go with that kit now for the question if I, um, why I didn't lift the truck, for example, three inches, I think there is a five inch lift as well. It looks pretty cool, you know, it, it, it doesn't look bad, but I just don't, I, I, I didn't need to have a lift kit on the truck. And since this truck is already lifted from factory with an inch, it's not a large, massive lift. But at the same time, the Rebel, in the rear stock, I think that was the, the optimal height for what I was looking for in, in, in my truck. So I just wanted to basically just level it in the front end and that would be the minimum requirement for me to also fit these 35 inch tires that I have on here, uh, which is also something that I really wanted to have on the truck. And there is really no issue fitting 35 inch tires when you just go with a simple leveling kit. I'm not sure about the Motofab. I, I, I think they both raised the front end by two inches, both the Motofab and the uh, Ready Lift. So I guess if you were to go with the Motofab, those hockey pucks in the, in the, on the struts, you could still fit 35 inch tires. You're still gonna need to do some cutting. There's just a little cutting involved with that, but not a huge amount. So if that's what you're looking for for your truck, you know, I would definitely recommend going with the Ready Lift leveling kit. To me, it also, you know, keeps the center of gravity. I know it's just a couple of inches, but it feels, it, I don't want to sit too high up. I mean, looking out the window here, windshield here, I feel like I'm above 95% of all the cars or vehicles out here. And then you have those crazy Florida lift trucks every now and then with like a 12 inch lift and you have to kind of look up to the driver and see, see if you can see who's driving that thing. 
but that's not really functional. It doesn't really add any more function to the truck, if that makes sense. This goes anywhere I need it to go, and it looks a lot better, in my opinion, with having a leveling kit instead of a, a lift kit. Three inch lift, I could see why people want to do that, and I could maybe consider doing that, but at the same time, that would be a lot more expensive than adding the ready lift for, I think I paid 400 or 450 or something like that. It's linked below in the description. All the mods, as always, are linked down in the description. If you want to go and check out the details and see the reviews and maybe order it for your own truck, you can do so by clicking the link in links in the description. But that's the reason, that's the main reason why I've decided to go with the leveling kit. Now, for the plans here going forward, um, we have a trip coming up at uh, I think the 23rd of May so pretty soon we're going up to Georgia and we found some uh, hopefully some wilderness up there I'm, I'm just longing for for the wild you know just go out there and chill not hear any traffic maybe hear some birds and <laughs> you know just some camping put the tent back on back there on the on the uh, bed rack and just relax uh, you know it's gonna be really nice to do that I, I'm I'm gonna make a vlog out of that so I'm gonna document the uh, trip here on the channel I think mostly for my own sake to you know have as a memory but also just to share with you guys if you want to follow along on something like that you could do that in uh, in that video that's gonna come up probably by the end of the month and then here we are in West Delray Regional Park this is my filming locations by the way really chill out here not a lot of traffic people it's quiet it's nice perfect for filming but anyway later in July we're actually heading down to Texas uh, actually up from Florida obviously but we're heading up there to do some um, scouting for the uh, around the Austin area because we're we're thinking of we're, we're moving at the uh, in September or October or something like that and we're thinking we're not a hundred percent sure where we want to go I'm I, I'm really interested in checking out Texas and specifically the western part of Texas with the you know you have the Big Bend National Park there and uh, also Austin and San Antonio it just seems like a very chill area to be in so I want to go and check that out we're gonna be there for a week driving up there and then uh, of course checking out the neighborhoods and it also depends on what type of job Lindsay gets if she gets a fantastic job in Utah for example I would definitely consider moving there as well so this is what the truck looks like, leveled. And I think it looks great leveled. It's not too high and you can see that it's, we have almost the exact same uh, distance now in the front right there as we have in the rear. You can barely tell that it's any difference in height, but if you don't have a little leveling kit, you're gonna have this rake going down. So the front end is gonna sit a lot lower than the rear end. And also just adding some 35 inch tires on here just totally transforms the truck in my opinion and another question that i might mention now because i'm i'm 100 sure i'm gonna get it in uh, on uh, as a question on this video is this exhaust right here is this stock or is it aftermarket exhaust well the thing is i'm gonna try and film under here so you can see it's actually a stock exhaust it sounds pretty good right here I don't have a muffler so this is actually a muffler delete right here I believe somewhere yeah you can see that it's welded there and they totally removed the muffler so that's what makes it sound so freaking good and I really like this uh, setup of the stock exhaust being the stock exhaust just removing the muffler it's the perfect balance between being loud and you know that v8 rumble but not too loud and if you don't step on the gas it still sounds like a you know a stock rebel and that's what i love about it so we can do some revving here let's just put down the camera so you can hear it that I want from the truck I think it sounds great and that's also I, I would assume a much cheaper option if you don't want to get the full exhaust system for your truck and just want to have a little bit better sounding truck that might be an option for you but this to me this truck I mean in general 
it is definitely the most satisfied I've ever been with a vehicle and they said that when before I bought a truck that <laughs> once you buy a truck it's gonna be very hard to go back to something else I just love it more and more for every day and I think the Rams are just making a fantastic job especially on their design now as well and as you know they're doing they're coming out with a uh, full electric one soon so that's gonna be interesting to see it looks like the LEDs lights on the electric ones they kind of stick out all the way to this point right here it's gonna be interesting to see how they solve that now that we have the Silverado EV and also the F-150 uh, going in for I think it already went into production and it's actually uh, you, I'm, we're probably gonna start seeing Ford F-150 Lightnings out on the streets pretty soon well that's it for this update thank you so much for watching and if, as always if you have any questions about the truck anything I can explain to you uh, let me know in the comments below happy to help you out I want to see more beautiful ramps out there on the streets and that's kind of what I'm making these videos for. I can show you real quick the cutting. We showed this, this before but that's all the cutting that it, I had to do. You can see the little cut right there. That's all the cutting that was necessary to fit the 35 inch wheels and tires with a leveling kit. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.